getting ready to start a family and we were looking for a suburb that was commutable to the city and we discovered the South Orange and Maplewood area. We like the way that South Orange is nestled into uh, hill and forest. It's very scenic. There's so many trees and we really are high up. Even in our house we have views of the city. As you drive through the neighborhoods you see that there's a really great mix of different types of houses. There's Tudors and Victorians, there's Colonials. Uh, one thing I like is uh, the sense of history and the character. We're originally from Europe and it had a very European feel. You know, the types of houses, the established trees, it just felt very much like, like home. A lot of the houses were built in the 20s and the 30s, so really great phones, solid construction. There's uh, two towns that still have the original gas lights. One is South Orange, the other one is Glen Ridge. And our power lines are hidden away in the backyard, so it just creates a beautiful streetscape. There is a neighborhood and a house for mm -hmm. every price point. Somebody might want to feel more linked into the downtown mm -hmm. and like they're living in a more urban environment and they're getting that in certain neighborhoods. Mm -hmm. And then if you want to kind of feel like you're secluded and high up on top of a mountain, you can live up in Newstead. I love the Montrose section because there's all these beautiful historic homes. They all have this kind of historical significance. That's my favorite neighborhood in, the, in town. I'm about a five minute walk from the train every morning, but a lot of our friends do live out in the more outlying areas and they have a very good jitney system that brings people down to the downtown to get on the train. What's great about the village is that you have a mix of mom and pop stores, but then you also have your Starbucks. It's walkable, there's a nice little shopping area and fun little places to pop in. It was really important to us as people that were coming from the city to really expose our kids to as many different types of people, races, color, creeds, religion, everything, and we really found that here. That was hugely important to us because we do have a daughter, and when she goes into school and starts making friends, I didn't want us being a same-sex, mixed-race family to be any kind of an issue, and it really is a non-issue here. <laughs> Schools are really great. The teachers are amazing. We've had a wonderful experience. We have a very strong arts community and we have a school district that supports the arts. Since the new year, I decided to take some guitar lessons with my son and we've been going to Mark Murphy Music and it's been a really good experience. And there's also South Orange Performing Arts Center. I think given the proximity to New York, there's also a really good spillover of great talent that come through there. The township has a community pool. I think it's $35 a person, and that's really for the rec badge that you get all the rec services right, so for. That's it's for not... tennis, using the recreation yeah. center, the pool, everything else. It's honestly the best deal in town. Floods Hill is also this amazing park atmosphere in the center of town. And during the summer months, there are summer concerts, and they have food trucks, vendors. In August, they have movie night. And then you get into winter time, and it is an absolutely awesome hill to go sledding down. There's really something for everybody because there is the reservation so close by and there's so much that you could do there if you want to be outdoors. We can walk to the Turtleback Zoo and all of the kind of fun amusements that are over there. There's lots of great restaurants not only in town but also in the surrounding areas. We love Bunnies, that's a big favorite. We go there all the time. We love Arturo's which is actually one fun over in Maplewood. We have a great mix of restaurants between South Orange and Maplewood. It's hard to pick a favorite. South Orange and Maplewood are basically the one same town. town. Yeah. One town. We really made the right decision. When people visit us, they're like, I can't believe we're in New Jersey. They have no idea that a place like this exists, much less in New Jersey.